We live in a world where more and more online content is being produced by users. We're continuously sharing thoughts, ideas, links, videos, images, music, text through social networks like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, etc. But the web has not always been this social. It was because of our creative participation that the web went from being a broadcast channel, which is the case of the television, to a democratic platform. And this process of appropriating a technology and using it in innovative ways happens every day with the objects around us. For example, when Thomas Edison invented the gramophone in 1877, he had no idea what purpose this technology was going to serve. A month after the invention, he wrote a list that included the following suggestions. Animate toys, recount stories, describe advertisements, give directions, recite speeches, etc, etc, etc. Only at the end of the list did he happen to mention using the gramophone as a musical instrument. It took several years before the world realized that the most important and profitable use of the gramophone would be precisely to record and play music. In a certain way, this reutilization and innovation is happening right now here in Luanda. How? Let me tell you a story. One day, my younger brother came home with a present. It was a video game console that you plug into the television to play video games called the Xbox. Interestingly, he did not play with a remote control. The console came with a special camera that stood in front of the television and analyzed the player's body to allow movements to interact with the game. In this picture, you can see my brother jumping to dodge a lightsaber in the game Star Wars. I brought today the same Xbox camera that's now in the floor in front of me. In the projection, you can see the result of the motion capture. What this camera is doing is following and identifying all the major limbs in my body. The interesting thing here is that since I'm a musician, I ended up incorporating this technology, this camera, into my process of musical composition. For example, I can put notes of an instrument in the space around me that respond to the position of my hand. With practice, I can even play melodies. Complicated, very complicated. How to rehearse this for years. Seriously, I went to grad school just to learn it. So, the interesting thing about this is that not only is this camera an off-the-shelf technology, it's also accessible, it doesn't cost too much. So, this process of getting this camera and using it in a different context, like I said, happens all the time. The result of this instrument is an inverse relationship. Instead of having a choreography where movements follow the music, the music follows the dance. Help me here. Name a very popular place where we listen to music, dance, and socialize. Nightclubs, that's it. But have you noticed that despite this important role, the nightclub is still a place where we cannot participate musically? They're like the radio. There's a small group of people called DJs deciding what the public should listen to. Why? Why can't we go on stage and receive applauses? Because it's important for us to share not only technologies, but ideas. So I came up with an idea. Organize events in many nightclubs with this interactive system to allow patrons to use their movements to generate music. For example, in this picture, in one of the events that I organized, you can see a girl dancing and using the position of her hands to control the filter on a sound.
And we have two guys, again, in one of those events that are organized, with Wii remotes like mine, where the acceleration of this device was used to play notes of an instrument. I learned two things organizing these events. The first is that many times technologies allow a different use than the one intended by the inventor. The second is that these processes of recycling, remixing, appropriation open new avenues through which new ideas can flow. I would like now to invite the dancer Pini, who's going to help me in the following performance. She's going to start with a cactus position that helps the camera identify her limbs. So what's going to happen is that the camera is going to follow the position of all her limbs, like her hands and arms, to control sounds. Penny's going to use the height, the distance, the velocity of her hands to control sounds and visuals. Basically, she's going to have to play an instrument, dance, and manipulate visuals at the same time.